In the year 2000, the entire world was shocked by the sinking of the submarine Kursk, tragically killing all 118 Russian submariners on board. This maritime disaster marked a turning point in submarine rescue cooperation. Just three years later, NATO established an international hub of submariners that could go anywhere in the world to save those in trouble, no matter the place, no matter the conditions. We don't have any distinction between save a life or another life. For us, it's important brotherhood. For us, it's important to be here and uh, be ready to save a life, whatever country is, belongs to this life. Being a submariner is one of the most high-risk jobs in the world. It's no wonder then that all submariners are a family. The common challenge is the sea. NATO's International Submarine Escape and Rescue Liaison Office, or ISMOLO, is at the heart of this international cooperation and is open to any nation that uses submarines. The ISMER organization includes 41 nations and everybody are cooperating to improve this kind of uh, skill to save a life. These kind of skills are hard won and meticulously preserved. NATO trains regularly on submarine search and rescue exercises. It's really important to be trained because uh, uh, save a life and uh, on the bottom of the sea it's not so easy. The exercises also help share knowledge and strengthen the bonds between partners worldwide. The most important value of this exercise is that we have a lot of observers come from all over the world. More than 30 nations are observing us and working with us in a very close way. It's also a chance to test out the latest technology in underwater rescue from each country ranging from specifically designed rescue chambers to mini-submarine rescue vehicles. Each system has its own benefits. It depends on the conditions. Uh, with submarine rescue chambers, they're very good at working at shallow water. In deeper water, in more difficult conditions, then rescue chambers are of limited use and you need to have a proper rescue vehicle. In a real rescue situation, commanders would have a range of solutions to choose from to make sure personnel get out alive. And of course, there's a website where all nations can share information. Being a submariner remains one of the most difficult jobs in the world. But today, the international community is cooperating to improve submarine rescue, and NATO is at the forefront.